Yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And this video is solely on gameplay improvements and even just simple gameplay features that have been added to NBA 2K14. Now, I'm gonna get to the nitty gritty. We're gonna be here for a while. You guys can already see the time length, but I'm gonna get into this and I'm actually gonna tell you guys what I've saw at the NBA 2K14 team up so you can get a good understanding of where I'm coming from and that this is true to my knowledge. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is physics. And the second thing I wanna talk about is the overpowered game tactics that we saw from NBA 2K13. Now, I remember guys asked me about the layup animation and stuff like that. Well, guess what guys? The leaning layup animation is gone. You guys know when you used to be on a fast break or even in a half court set, you go to the rim, all the guy gotta do is step up there, you'll go into like this stupid leaning animation and it'll be no foul call, you miss the shot and they going down the other end, that's gone. You don't have to worry about that animation no more. Now, the contact is here. Now this is what I'm gonna say to you guys. No more going up against three defenders for a dunk. For all those guys that thought, you know, they just grab LeBron and just rise over three defenders, that's not happening anymore. But a foul may be called. If LeBron James goes up to the to the guys and tries to dunk on three people, a foul may be called, but he's not going to continue with that dunk. Like, he's not going to be like Superman on juice. Like, no, that won't happen. Now, over 3,000 animations have been added to NBA 2K14, which means when it's contact in midair, a lot is going on in midair. It's not just one canned animation and, you know, the guy just goes to the line or you go into a leaning layup and nothing happens. It's all been changed. Now, loose ball situations have been tweaked. You know when your guy used to be in limbo, he wasn't able to move, you couldn't slide, you couldn't run, you couldn't do nothing when a loose ball happened? Well, this year in NBA 2K14, they've actually fixed that. Now your guys are going to be more alert when loose balls happen. If your guy has great awareness, don't worry, you know, put all the trust in him. But the, just don't sit there and think that your guy is going to pick up the ball when a loose ball happens. You still have to go after that ball. It was a lot of times in NBA 2K13 where people said it was broken, but if I ran after the ball and double tap X to go die for it, my, my, my guy would die for it. A lot of people, they just go off of, you know, being scared or intuition. They just double tap X or spam the X button and think their player is going to die for it. No, you have to run after that ball. You have to actually take a running start. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, LeBron James. He will not be overpowered in NBA 2K14 because of the physical contact is a big thing this year. So guys, don't worry about LeBron James being unstoppable, being a 99. But I will tell you, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you might want to call a double team. And we'll talk about double teams in a little bit. Now, fadeaway threes and leaning momentum threes have been lowered and make success, which means all those guys out there doing them Euro threes, leaning threes, fadeaway three, all that nonsense out the window you know what i'm saying you need to be a pure shooter now it's time to take real jump shots don't just take a momentum shot and think you're gonna nail it not an nba 2k14 now euro step threes speaking on that guess what guys they have been taken completely out of the game all that dirt euro three oh this should be in the game because dirt did it no they've taken it out of the game so don't worry about euro step threes guys cheesing you online don't worry about that that's that has been taken out also, up and under cheese, ooh, that has been taken out as well. Now, if a defender doesn't bite, more contact will occur by, you know, putting your hands up and it will lower the success rating in making that shot. So if you if you know if a guy does an up and under and you bite for it, oh yeah, you, you got up and under. But if you put your hands up, the players will now have that contact. Whereas though it's not just a canned animation and you just keep going with the up and under and you think you got it. When you when that player doesn't bite and he puts his hands up, guess what? He crowds the offensive player. Now the offensive player isn't going to be able to do much with the ball. So, you know, that's that. Now the next thing. 
passing has been revamped i made a video on that you guys might want to go check that joint out but what i did see is that less passes were deflected by the cpu when passing in the middle of the lane so all that superman flying glitching and all of that if players have the right awareness and steal rating for that then they may be able to pick the ball off in the lane but you know for all those centers and power forwards that aren't really good at stealing don't have great awareness don't expect them to be swatting the ball here there left right up all there no that, that ain't gonna be like that this year thank the good, good lord because that's where i got a lot of my turnovers calling the pick and roll and chris bosh just automatically know that the ball is gonna end up where it's already supposed to be at without me even knowing it that's gone now the next thing the double team this was a big thing i wanted to talk about the double team doesn't have that sluggish feel anymore if the double team is engaged it is harder to get out of which means you actually have to like back up and create space and get away from them defend from those defenders ain't no more spinning through it and all of that running around it no what happens is instead of the players putting their hands up they actually have their hands low down trying to crowd the player with the ball not just hands up walking and sliding and all of that no it's not like that no more now the next thing when your teammate comes to double team, he plays the passing lanes, which means, say I call a double team and a player is coming up, and he's running to the he's running to come get the double team. What he does is, if you try to pass out of that, he's actually trying to wait for that pass. So you know, ain't no more just running up to a guy and then calling a the double team. It's actually he's playing the passing lane before he engages the double team. Now, the more closer that they get. They don't have their hands up, like I said, in NBA 2K13. But what happens is while they're crowding you, it's it, like it's very hard to get out. So if you're in a corner, you might want to call a timeout. Trust me. It, it was a couple times where the double team came. I didn't know what to do with the ball. I thought I could just cheese it like 2K13, and I got called for the jump ball. Now, uh, as it goes for defense, there is no more automated drop down defense. Now, what I mean by this is, have you ever been been on defense, a guy is coming down, and you, and you automatically drop to your butt with, with him not even being near you? Like, you just automatically are dropped down to your butt, and it's nothing you can do. That has been taken out. You actually have to press LT to drop down in the defensive stance. Other than that, you can run around freely standing up. All right? Now, uh, the last thing that I want to tell you guys is... Um, all of the overpowered things that I tried in NBA 2K14 were not working. So, you know, for those guys that are going to try to cheese the game, I encourage you, please try to cheese NBA 2K14. Try every nook and cranny in the book so, you know, we can let them know, you know, hey, you guys got to patch this, you got to patch that. What I want from 2K this year is acknowledgement that the community needs jobs done in order to make this game better there is no making nba 2k14 come out with one patch and give us the deuce it ain't gonna be like that this year i need them to help out i need them to patch these problems i need to make sure that this is a beast game i don't want to see no bull crap in 2k man this is my second year i went to the team up with a game plan i went to the team up with a whole lot of notes and i even took a whole lot of notes so it's a lot going on, man. I'm, I'm really, really, you know, I guess you could say hype about the situation. But at the same time, I'm calm, I'm cool, I'm collective, and I just want a better game. But this is IKC signing out. I hope I helped you guys out with the overpowered tactics, with the physics. Oh, my God, I almost forgot the god darn physics. I said I was going to talk about physics, but I left out one big thing. With this whole new, you know, player motion system and all of that, for those guys that like jumping for those blocks, for guys that, you know, up and up, like, you know, up fake you and stuff like that, you might not want to be coming at them with a head full of steam. What happened was when we were playing a game, I was about to shoot a three point shot, but I decided not to shoot it. I was about to pass up the shot, but this dude was coming like full speed from the paint to try to block my shot and he actually landed on me. Which means now that the physics have been upgraded, if a player jumps out, you know, at a three-point player, it is now going to be called a blocking foul. It's not going to be called a shooting foul unless you continue with the shot. It's going to be a blocking foul. He's going to go to the line for two. But that player is going to get pummeled. 
I mean, straight up pummel. But you also have the option of when you up fake a guy and he's coming at you and he's jumping all, you know, out of control, you can run right around him because guess what? He's still in midair. But this is IKC signing out. I hope I helped you guys out a lot. I'm out of here, man. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.